guys, Margo Jordan here. I am back on the YouTube, excited to be here. Uh, I have been super busy, but I told myself, I made a promise, I said, you know what? You need to be putting out YouTube videos every week. I don't even care if it's a bunch of nothing. So today, we are gonna be doing a bunch of nothing. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna be doing a Q&A. Uh, so I don't know if you all follow me on Instagram. If you do, follow me at Margo Jordan, spelled uh, M-A-R-G-A. U X J O R D A N or wait, I think I have to point it this way. I don't know. Anyway, follow me there because they have this new feature and it's a Q and A uh, type thing, so you can ask a question. And I got so many questions, and so I tried to answer a bunch of them on Instagram, and then my fingers about fell off. I am going to answer all the other ones that I didn't answer today. Yay! Get excited. So I took screenshots so I didn't lose them, and then my iPhone storage again is full. I don't know. I mean, hit the like button if your iPhone storage is always full. Actually, just hit the like button in general because that'd be cool. It'd help boost my video up. First of all, uh, Miss Kenley, oop, oop. Kenley wrote a question, but it wasn't really a question. Uh, Kenley Blackhurst says, thank you so much for picking me to be the giveaway winner. So I did a giveaway uh, with Lip Smacker. I teamed up with Lip Smacker who has the most amazing lip balms, which I will show you. I did a giveaway on my Instagram and Kenley won and she got her package. You're welcome, Kenley, I love you. Okay, uh, and there'll be more giveaways to come too. Ooh, okay, this is from Phoebe.ma, Phoebe Ma. What up, Phoebe Ma? And she says, who's your celebrity crush? Ooh, baby. So I have to say I got my eye on a couple people. First, I got something in my eye. What is that? Oh, hang on, pause. <laughs> uh, that was weird, I had something in my eye. Who is my celebrity crush? And the answer is multiple answers. First, we have Mr. Zac Efron. He is spicy, he's got some muscles. I've been working on mine, can you tell? Hey, uh, he has muscles, uh, but it's not about the looks always, it's also about the personality and he just comes off as somebody that is uh, free of his uh, in inhibitions, he, ha he goes with his gut. He can sing, he can dance, he's also like kinda cute. Uh, a little sexy thing about him. I've liked him though since the beginning. Zach, I've liked you since High School Musical. <laughs> Before when you had your gap, I liked you with your gap. And um, anyway, now he's a uh, hunk of chunk of burning love. And uh, speaking of Elvis, Elvis Presley, if he was still alive and also 25, uh, yes, I would like him as well. Um, then I would have to say, you know who I think is really adorable, although he has a girlfriend, so I'm, I'm not gonna step in on that at all, uh, is Derek Huff. He's so cute, that's Julianne Huff's brother. I was actually, I was in Rock of Ages with Julianne Huff, but we were in different scenes. Um, and uh, I just think he's so adorable. He's uh, free spirit, He's he's, just really sweet and um, goofy. I like the guys that are a little bit Gomer Pyle-ish. Um, what's a Gomer Pyle? I think it's a character from an old TV show, but I'm not sure. We'll check on that. Do you have a crush on anyone that I know or that you know, says Anna K. Barger. Speaking of all these crush, it's all these crush uh, things. Uh, there is one guy and I'm not gonna say his name because I already said it once on my YouTube channel on an old video. And I actually do talk to him sometimes, but he has no clue that I like him. Or I find him, I'm into him, I have a crush on him. Uh, I don't think that he has any clue. And I've tried to like hint at it, and I'm really bad at it, and I'm embarrassed. So, I'm not gonna say anything. Mm. <laughs> so listen, can I have your number? Ooh, okay. Caitlin dot underscore dot sen, S-E-N. Uh, asks, are you going to start your own album? Oh, hey! Uh, I already have an album. Here, I'll show you. Well, not really, but. So, this right here, <laughs> my dad made me. He, uh, he wanted to keep me, because music, you know, making it in the music industry uh, is very difficult. So, um, so I'm not so much focused on just one thing. I love music, I love acting. I love dancing, so I try to do all three. Um, but I make music all the time. I have my own studio, which I'll show you after this, maybe. Um, and it's a home studio, but it's fully equipped. Got a microphone, which I'm using now. 
Hey! So my dad made me this album and it says, gold record album, Margot Jordan, side one, stealth, let love in, I didn't forget you, hashtag GNO, Annie up. And on the back side it says, kiss me, fireworks, rather be dreaming, prime, and defeated. So these are all names of songs that I have written. Um, they are all on my SoundCloud. Shh. Some of them are not published yet. So I put them out there because I wanted to test them and see if you guys liked them before I actually published them. Um, but a couple of producers want to like make some tweaks to them. Uh, and then I have a couple other songs that I'm in the works of writing that um, I'm really, really excited about and hopeful about. And I just haven't had the time. I've been trying to do so many things. So, um, okay, next question. Do you watch Friends? Says K. Truong2024. Yes, I'll be there for you when the rain starts to pour. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> Your job's a joke. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously right now. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. All right, I'm done. Who is your favorite actor? Actual. This is uh, Habiba. <laughs> I love that one. Habiba8949. Who's my favorite actor? My favorite actor might be Meryl Streep. She is just unreal every single movie she's in. Um, but I love video or videos. I love movies with Hilary Duff in it. I don't know. There's just, Hilary Duff just makes me feel like home. And uh, that's the kind of roles that she takes on that I would like to take on, as well as uh, Rachel McAdams. I love her. Um, and Jennifer Lawrence is really awesome, too. She, like, gets in it. Like, she is just in it. <clears throat> I have to cough. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I have a lot. I have a lot. But I think the person overall that I really look up to would be um, Jennifer Lopez. Reason is because she is a true, uh, fully well-rounded person. So she sings, she dances, she acts, she produces shows, she's got her own uh, line of, of clothing and products, and she's just a powerhouse, man. And, and I, if I could have any career in my uh, life where I could foresee it going, J-Lo, I want you to mentor me, and let's make some magic. This magic moment. Oh. Ooh, okay. Crazy Henshi asks, what's your fave food? Well, I have a lot of different foods that I like, but I can always go for Italian food, especially pizza. Give me the pizza. I love pizza. Um, I also love uh, a dish that my mom makes, and it's fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. Can't forget the shrimp. It is out of this world. It's so creamy and just like oh, melts in your mouth. Guys, I'm getting hungry making this video. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna make, which I'm gonna make butler chicken tonight. Butler chicken is uh, basically just like chicken and potatoes, but it's got a different twist on it. And um, I'm getting really hungry right now. So, okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for making me hungry there, Miss Crazy Henshi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Cindy, new gen, six day four. I'm doing real good today. All right. Will I ever win a giveaway, says Allie the Unicorn 12. Girl, you never know. Uh, but what I do is, uh, as long as you follow all the rules, so it might be like tag three people, follow this account, follow that account. I make sure you actually do it. No cheating. And then um, I put your names into, uh, what do you call it? A shuffle. And then I pull out a name. <clears throat> Gosh. I need to drink some agua. Woo! Ah, I felt good. That's good. Okay, and we're back. Ooh, Penelope, Penelope Latte. Penelope Latte wants to know if I have a boyfriend. No. <laughs> single and mingling. I have been mingling. Um, single, Pringle. But honestly, I just work so much. I'm just constantly like, I love what I do, but the thing is to do to do what I do for a living all the time, I feel guilty when I'm like out with friends and I feel guilty enjoying my spare time, which I don't usually make spare time for myself. So I that reminds me that I need to make more time for myself. So thanks for the reminder. <laughs> XX Christina XX97 says, what's your favorite color? Well, let me just let me just tell you. This color that I have on this chair, I have 
so many things. This color, hold on. So many things that are all this color. This thing back here, my printer is the color. Oh, and even my shoes are this color. So the answer is it's like pale beachy blue. Pale beach blue. <laughs> okay. Uh, H X P P Y Y X B X S. I guess it's like Happy Vibix or so. I'm not really so sure what's about the screen name, but they want to know: Do I like? Do you like tacos? L M A O. Yeah, yeah, I love tacos. Uh, they're delicious and nutritious. Well, they're not really too nutritious, but uh, there's a taco stand in San Diego that's really, really good, and I highly recommend.